Hi, I'm Dr. Vertice Berry and I want to tell your story. Sometimes my stories are stories that I have completely forgotten. And even though they're absolutely amazing, I don't live in the past. Um, I'm informed by it, I learn from it, but um, I don't live in it and I remember it and it's exciting when I do remember different like crazy stories. So I was on the road um, in my car on my way I think I was doing, going to do a lecture. I may have been going to do stand-up somewhere. But I think it was lecture and stand-up because I was going to a university. And I was in the mountains. I'm not going to say what state. I'm just not, I'm, I'm just not even going to talk about the state. So I was on the highway and my car stalled. Just stopped. I was like, it just stopped. But I was putting a lot of miles on the car back then. So um, I'm on the side of the road and this woman... Uh, she had a sticker on the back of her car about teachers, teachers taking care of one another or something like that. And so she pulled over and she said, I'm not going to leave a woman out here. And she picks me up and she takes me back to the service station. And she said, maybe you can find some help at the service station. So I said, okay, thank you so much. I'm just grateful. So I get inside and it was, you know, like back up in. And so this, um, the guy that was working there said, you have to, I said, you know, can I get a tow truck? Do you know how I could get a tow truck? He said, there's a tow service, but you have to call him. So he told me to go across the hall, right across from him, right across the way from him and pick up that phone. And, and, you know, it was a pay phone and I had to dial the number that was there for the tow service. And I did. And I'm standing there and the phone's ringing and he picked up the phone. You can't make this stuff up. He picks up the phone. He's like, hello. And I'm like, sir, why couldn't you just? He's like, it has to come in from the phone. I was like, okay, whatever. It's going to be that day. So um, the tow truck comes for me. And he's like looking at me. And he's like, where are you going to have to? Well, I'm going to take you over to the, tow you over to my house and work on it. He's like, I don't know if I can work on this, though. And I'm like, what kind of car do I have that he can't work on? And it was a Honda, but okay. So we go to his house, which is also the dump, which is also where he works and lives. So it was, it was out of a movie. It was true. And I'm by myself. It was completely out of a movie. So he, I asked if I can use the phone to call somebody. So I go, he, he says, yeah, there's a pay phone in there. And I go in his house and use the pay phone. I am not making this up. So I use the pay phone and I call people, let them know where I am and everything like that. So he says, well, I'm going to have to take you over to, he names the next town over because I can't fix this. So, and I said, oh, okay. And he's like, but that's going to cost you a hundred dollars. You got that? And I was like, I was excited because I had gone to the bank and taken out a hundred dollars. So I had like a hundred, maybe $50 on me. So I was like, yes, I do. So he was like, looking me up and down, like, how do you have a hundred dollars? So he called the service place and he actually said, I have a knit, uh, knit, uh, a colored girl here at a jab car. I was standing there like, what year am I in? So he hitches the truck up, the car up and takes it over there. And, and I'm like, please God. So I, you know, I pay him his money and he counts it in front of me. Like, you know, that, that count that they do the old people old people used to do this make sure that you gave them the right amount so he's doing all that and I was like oh okay so he says well you take care and I was like <laughs> now the town I'm in it was like electricity was turned on it was suddenly it was like bright people were there people were talking to one another people were talking to me the guy's like yeah we can fix this yeah it's gonna take about an hour you know your time about broke which could have been catastrophic but I was, I was grateful, but it's, it's interesting to me that I like forget that story because there were other things that happened that were kind of wacky because it is such an amazing story, but my life has been big and amazing and round and wonderful. And there are some days where you get called crazy names, but you get to your safety and you just keep going through. And I know most of you would not put yourself in the situations that I'm in. But then you don't get the life that I'm having either. <laughs> ah, God travels with me. And that is supernatural. I love you.